Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking, and today I'm going to make pot pie, ham pot pie. This is PA Dutch pot pie, not the pastries that you buy in a store that look like they're in a pie shell. That's not Pennsylvania Dutch pot pie. That is meat pie, and I'll show you how to make one of those in a different fit. Today's is PA Dutch ham pot pie. Probably the most common pot pie is chicken, but <clears throat> you can make um, chicken, ham, beef, uh, and the one fire company down above Harrisburg, down around Higgins, actually makes clam pot pie. Uh, pot pie around here is very intrinsic to this area. It is very PA Dutch. And when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, when I say pot pie, it's pie done in a pot. The, you make your own noodles with this, uh, with your own stock, and uh, with me with the ham and or whatever meat you choose and it's more like a stew um, it's cheap to make uh, feeds a lot of people so it was a great farm family and uh, uh, recipe to feed a lot of people around here and fire companies and churches and um, some places around here still make it and sell it also by the court usually at the same time as fundraisers so uh, this is our family's recipe, not everybody makes it the same, like everything else around here. Um, it varies from valley to valley and over the mountain to whatever family you're from. But this is uh, Mike's family's recipe uh, for pot pie. So to start off with, um, I make my own stock uh, for the ham. And to make that really, really good, uh, I actually get a couple ham hocks, smoked ham hocks, and I usually get mine from Mossers. Um, they're pretty, pretty nice looking actually. They smell really good with the smoke on them. But I'm just going to add these uh, to my stock pot. And I already have um, just a few carrots and onion already in the broth. And I'm going to add my other one here. And I'm just going to let those simmer down and create my stock. And while uh, the stock is working here in the broth, I'll work on the noodles. Um, they're, they're basically patches of, of dough is what we put in there to make the pot pie. And we do that by hand. So we'll get around and get that ready. Okay, we're going to work on the noodle part next. Now, the noodles that Mike's family make for pot pie is really simple. It's one part flour, one egg, and one teaspoon of uh, baking powder and then you add enough water, cold water, to form your dough. Um, some people use the flour, egg, butter, and milk. Some people add salt. Different, like I said, different families had different recipes. Um, I'm starting out with two cups of flour and I'm going to add in um, two teaspoons of baking powder and then I'm going to add two beaten eggs and start mixing and incorporating this like you would a regular dough get that in It's not a hard dish um, really to make. It's one of those things though that you have to kind of do a little bit by feel. So now we start just adding enough water here. We're going to start forming a dough. And nobody that I that I know of has but that exact set amount of water is. You just start working with it. It's forming up the dough pretty good. And don't worry, you know, if you get it a little too wet, you can always add a little bit of uh, flour 
uh, to uh, bring it back. It's not a problem. This is not an exact science thing. I probably added a little bit too much water, but I can fix that. Just a little bit of flour here. I didn't want quite that sticky. I think this is going to be about perfect. I think so. Yep. Now, see how that's formed into a, a dough ball? That's pretty much what you're looking for, right there. Okay. I'm going to dump this out onto a floured surface. <clears throat> I'm going to flour up my hands so it doesn't stick to everything. Turn it out over here onto my mat. There we go. Bring this down a little bit towards me here. So you can see what we're doing. And basically now, roll this a little bit there, so it's sticky. And basically now, we're just going to roll this out. Um, some people make their noodle squares really, uh, really thin. Um, our family does not like them that thin. He, Mike likes his nice and doughy, and so do I. So I make thicker patches. Uh, that's why I usually start off with a double batch right off the bat, because I like to make those thicker patches. Now they take a little longer to cook, to get tender, but um, I think it's worthwhile in the end. So that's probably that's probably about a quarter of an inch thick. That's about what we like. I think the the other uh, noodles patches that people do tend to be probably more in the eighth of an inch thick, really a lot thinner. But this looks about right. So I hope you can see that here. Um, let's pick up a corner here. All I'm going to do. Um, to uh, make my dough patches is use a really complicated tool. Yeah, my pizza cutter. Um, and I'm just going to cut it like this. And go down the other way to make my patches. And I will tell you that unless you're getting this from somebody who's making it the homemade way, um, nothing you buy, unless it's made by church, local church or whatever, is going to compare to this. So here are our dough patches. See what that looks like. And uh, I'm going to finish my broth. I'll pull the ham hocks out and throw these in and the potatoes and they will cook while I debone the ham hocks for the ham portion of this and we'll come back when I toss this in the pot. Okay my ham hocks are pretty well done and ready to come out and ready for me to work on deboning them as you can see here. So I'm going to remove these. Oops, slipped. There we go. 
and that will be plenty of meat for, for this. And then I'm going to add a little water back for the stock. And then I'm going to start adding my little dough patches. Just like this. Just start putting them in the water and uh, till we get them all in and I'm going to bring that up to a boil along with um, two medium potatoes sliced and just, like I said you only need two so I need yes it's very starchy but that's what kept the working families warm get these in here and you can see my I don't know if you can see there my dough patches are starting to float already get the rest of these in and I'm just going to uh, oh yeah there they come not oh, a little sticky here we go. See they're starting to come up. And I'll just keep adding them until I get them all in, along with the rest of my tomatoes, to pay, tomatoes, potatoes. And I'll bring it back to a boil, let them simmer until they're tender, and then I will throw my um, deboned ham hock, ham material back in, and that'll bring it all together. And we'll dish it up. Okay, so I added my ham back in, and the noodles have cooked, and the potatoes have cooked, and uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It's not real fancy, but it's really yummy. So I'm going to dish this up quick, and you can see it. And here it is on the plate. Typically, we serve this with uh, butter bread for all the good juice. And the other thing we typically serve with it are red beets. And these aren't just plain red beets. These are home canned pickled red beets. And uh, they're, they're kind of a sweet and sour pickled red beet uh, with vinegar and sugar and the uh, pickle juice beet pickle juice I should say, beet juice, and uh, allspice. Um, similar to a, a Harvard beet but not as thick. Um, those are a little bit different. Mike's mom actually canned these um, and my dad's recipe and hers are pretty much dead on the same. Um, next year, Lord willing and the rivers don't rise, I'm going to try and do um, some videos on preserving. Next year I'll need the canned chili sauce and spaghetti sauce. I'm going to do beets um, and a bunch of other stuff out of the garden next year that I didn't get time to do this year. Uh, probably do some apple and pear butters as well um, and just show you some of the ways I preserve and can. So there you have it. Ham pot pie. Not meat pie. PA Dutch pot pie. If you want to do chicken, chicken's probably the most common. Um, I do chicken thighs in the stock pot, so you get the bone marrow and all the good stuff. To bone the chicken later, do the rest the same. Add some uh, better than bullion uh, chicken stock to it, um, and it'll be just perfect yummy. So, ham pot pie. Enjoy. Bye.